You understand? But y'all will, y'all do not understand now, but you will know after this. Now watch this. Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet. He didn't know no better. Bless his heart. Peter didn't know no better, but he said, you shall never wash my feet. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, uh, uh, and then Jesus answered him, if I do not wash your, you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. <laughs> Bless his heart. Hallelujah. He was so genuine. He just didn't know no better. He was ignorant, but he was genuine. You see, he didn't know no better. He was ignorant, but he was genuine. See, there's a difference. His, he was genuine. He's going to grow in the faith. He's going to grow in knowledge. And Jesus knew it. His genuineness, his ignorance. God had compassion on it because he was genuine. But see, someone who's genuine doesn't stay ignorant. They grow in the knowledge and, and, and the truth. You understand? Because they have compassion. They're, 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 they're compassionate. They're committed. You understand? His genuineness showed his commitment, even though he was ignorant. See, but the ignorance wasn't going to be ignorance for too long. He was going to grow because of his genuine faith in Christ. You understand? He had genuine, he was genuinely committed, even though he was ignorant. So God was compassionate on his ignorance. Now, he wasn't ignorance by choice. He was ignorant because he didn't quite learn yet. He didn't have the Holy Ghost yet. You understand? But Jesus knew it was going to come later. And plus, it wasn't revealed until he was resurrected and, 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 the, and the fire fell upon them. And then he got the revelation. Hallelujah. So therefore, brothers and sisters, Peter's Peter was ignorant, but he was genuine towards Christ. He wasn't willingly ignorant. He wanted to grow in knowledge and understanding. See, if you're willingly ignorant, you don't want to grow. Your heart ain't genuine towards God. If you're willingly, you think you can be ignorant. Your heart is not genuine towards Christ. It's not. It's not. If you're willingly ignorant, you're you're going to perish because of lack of knowledge. You're, you're not genuine towards Christ. If you're willingly like, oh, I don't want to know that. Oh, well, nobody's perfect. That's not of Christ. That's of the devil. And you might not know that, but you're willingly ignorant. You're rejecting God with your heart because your heart is not genuine towards Christ. See, Peter right here, what it represents him right here. He was ignorant. Obviously, he said, you shall never wash my feet. And Jesus answered, if I do not wash you, you have no part with me. See, ignorant. <laughs> but he told him the truth. But he was genuine. So what did Peter say? Because his genuineness said, okay, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Hallelujah. So you, you understand the difference between willingly being ignorant and, and just ignorant. He was ignorant, but his heart was genuine towards Christ. You understand? Therefore, he wasn't willingly ignorant. He was he because he actually told Jesus, wash my hands and my feet and my and my head saying, hey, I want every part of you. I want to know everything I need to know so I can do what it. Basically, that's what his heart's saying. Give me everything, Lord, that you want for me so I can do whatever you want me to do. I trust you. Yeah, that's a genuine heart towards Christ. Just because he was struggling with sin, just because he was struggling with uh, 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 um of things doesn't mean his heart wasn't right towards God. You understand? It didn't mean his heart wasn't right towards them. It means that he didn't want to do those things that were wrong. He just didn't know any better yet. See, and he had to grow in knowledge and understanding. So anyways, we're going to keep going. Um, but God's compassionate. Jesus is a high priest who is compassionate towards ignorance. He's compassionate towards 